Kayla with Tactical Response here for just another Medical Monday. Ooh. It's also a husband reveal. This is my husband, Alex, and he has graciously agreed to be my dummy today so that I can show you guys how to wrap an amputation. You're going to need a set of gloves, a tourniquet, and any kind of pressure bandage. If you don't have a pressure bandage, you can find t-shirts, other stuff that will work, but we're gonna show you how to do it properly because if you don't know how to do it that way, you're not gonna be able to come up with all the other stuff. So, tricky thing about amputations is that they may not bleed immediately, especially if it was a clean cut because anytime that our blood vessels get trauma, I tell my kids, like it's like they get scared, they go, and they pull back in there and they retract and close off so they might not bleed immediately and then when they feel like the danger is gone they're like oh we can come out again and they open up and you start bleeding so as soon as somebody gets an amputation they get an automatic tourniquet so, remember i love you oh so sweet <laughs> okay i'm gonna do this arm Again, with the rats, just a couple fingers in there. You go around here, pull it through. Take the time to make sure that your cleat is on the top. You don't have time to go back and fix it later, so find the time to make sure it's correct now. All tourniquets go high and tight, and then you start wrapping. Remember, these were designed to go down in a snake-like fashion. I feel like this is payback for something. <laughs> it's not. As I said, remember, I still love you. Come around and get that hooked. And then uh, I'm not going to actually cut his arm off because I like his hands. <laughs> but if you can I just do... I do appreciate do, that. <laughs> if you can just do a fist for me. Okay. Again, any of these pressure dressings will work, but you take, and I'm gonna have you hold your arm like this right here. Open them up. It's going to go on a little bit cattywampus, so you want enough edge hanging down on either side to give yourself a base to where you can wrap that around to hold it on there. And then you literally just start coming up and over. We're not using the C or the H or whatever you have on the top of your pressure dressing. Up and around, different directions, until you have it completely wrapped. Um, you can pack down in there. Uh, bone marrow will continue to leak until it's packed. Um, and then uh, it's just really difficult to do with the fist and time constraints so we just did the wrapping you can pack down in there but be very careful if it was not a clean cut bone can be very very sharp they used to make tools and stuff out of it so once you get it down there you can get it secured and now his hand is completely wrapped i can sit here and try to pull that off it's not going to slide off we use pull noodles sometimes in immediate action medical they still don't come off then um but that is how you ramp, wrap, ramp, wrap an amputation. <laughs> Remember, uh, side note, we've done a video on it before, but if you uh, don't have anybody to practice with or it's only two people, remember, go to your space that you can remove a tourniquet here at the shop. Ours is right here because the only time we remove a tourniquet that we put on ourselves is on video in front of you guys. We say the phrase, I'm not bitching out. You're not bitching out. It's just safe to take the tourniquet off. So. Okay. Well, that's better. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> okay. Oop. Remember, guys, your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends. <laughs> <laughs>